If you guys can guess what her favorite flavor of ice cream is, you guys can get a free Rideshare Hub t-shirt. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. Today I'm with my friend. Hi, I'm Liz. This is Elizabeth, or Liz. Either or. What do you want them to call you? Whatever you want, Liz or Elizabeth works. All right, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, um, okay. <laughs> uh, today, so she's my friend and she takes Uber and Lyft a lot as a passenger. And you guys already know what this is about. We're doing these interviews, just talking to passengers to try to get a better perspective on what they really think about drivers. So we're gonna spill some tea, right? Tea is gonna be spilled. Tea is gonna be spilled. And uh, I have a bunch of questions we're gonna go through and I'll probably edit out all the boring ones. So um, enjoy. Why don't you introduce yourself while I well, introducing yourself is boring. How about one weird fact, fun fact about yourself? One fun fact, um, I used to train for ice skating when I was little, like outfits and all, but then I stopped when they wouldn't advance me to the next round and realized I had to get up at five in the morning, so. <laughs> so you're not an early not person? Not a morning person, definitely a night owl. I mean, morning people don't even wake up at five, right? Yeah, my ideal wake up time is more like 10. A.M. There you go. Do you stay up to like 5 a.m. like occasionally? It was a fun night. <laughs> all right, all right. Way too off topic here, guys. All right, question number one. How often do you take Uber and Lyft? Honestly, I probably average like once, twice a week. Okay, so pretty regularly. Frequent driver. You say driver? Frequent rider, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we'll get into that later. So yeah, pretty often. So, just off the bat, I mean, I assume you like it, right? Yeah, no, it's a great so service. So, what, what is one thing you like about Uber or Lyft? Honestly, I like how the efficiency, like they pick you up as quickly as you can, you get there, and mm -hmm. it's always been a safe experience for me. I've never had like a traffic jam or a weird driver. It's just been overall a great time. Wow. So, you'd like five star. Five On star. average, probably like 4.5 to 5 star, yeah. Alright, cool. So, um, what's one thing you don't like about Uber and Lyft? Is there anything that's like, ah, I wish it could be better in this way, or like... So, recently I took um, an express Uber pool, which I hadn't done before, to like one of my babysitting gigs, and so... That's where you like walk to a place. Yeah, so location. you walk to a place, it was probably like a three minute walk from my house, that wasn't bad, but they said the promised fare was going to be like five dollars and thirty cents and yeah after we did the ride I think the driver kind of got lost in traffic and was like looping around and then I was charged for like eight dollars which would have been the price for like a normal just yeah you might as well just yeah I would have rather just take that so I just had an uber Lux. I messaged in and I was like hey um, definitely overcharged me wasn't cool and they were actually really nice with the customer response but initially it was kind of disappointing. was that uber or Lyft? that was Lyft right that was uber oh uber okay interesting all right, question number four. Would you, Liz, Abeth, ever be an Uber driver? Would you ever do it in your entire life? Would I ever do it? Uh, <laughs> Could you imagine yourself being a driver? Yes, because I'm very chatty, but I don't think my driving skills are that great to where I could be a driver, so. Are yeah. you like a speedy driver? Uh, you know, I like to get there quick. <laughs> But don't break the laws, right? No, no, don't guys, break the laws. don't. We don't. We don't endorse that. And then, this one is like just for fun. What kind of driver would you be? Like, would you be? I don't know. Yeah. I would be the driver that has like the complimentary gum and like little mini water. <laughs> it's like very hospitable. Like my friends call me the mom of the friend group, so I'd be like the mom driver probably. Yeah. Music preference. Whatever the uh, rider wanted. Just EDM all day long. Oh yeah, you gotta stay awake somehow. <laughs> 6 a.m. just <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so, what's one thing that you wish your driver, let's just stick with Uber since you take Uber more, right? Yeah, I take Uber Let's more. just, for this sake, let's just stick with Uber. But it can apply to Lyft as well. What is like one thing you wish your driver did or didn't or doesn't I don't know the grammar on that one, but like what's one thing you wish your driver didn't do or like did do? Um, we can start with didn't do. Like for me, there's a fine line between like nice, pleasant chatting versus like someone talking your ear off the entire yeah. time. And I think yeah. that's kind of been a thing for me where it's like, I'm, I'm always going to respond like I consider myself a friendly person, but 
sometimes the chat can just get a little too much. Yeah. Um, what about did do? Did do, this isn't pertaining to the driver. Does that have to be driver specific or Uber in general? Yeah, either, either or. Um, Uber in general, so I've had a couple friends where like, you have your phone in the back of your uh, pocket, phone falls out, and it's there's a really hard time getting in contact with the driver. And yeah. I know it's not fun for the driver to have someone's phone and go around, so I wish there was a yeah. way that like, Lyft or Uber could like connect with the driver automatically if there's a lost item, not have to go through headquarters and wait a couple of days to hear back. Yeah, that's, yeah. I actually lost my phone in an Uber and never got it back. <laughs> so I don't buy a new phone. And I only had it, it was like this phone, iPhone 7. Oh. It just came out and I was on like waiting list for like five weeks. You know at the beginning it's like hard. Oh yeah, no it's, it's And crazy. uh the one week I had it, I left it in an Uber car. <laughs> Never got it back. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, it sucked. Um, moving on. Um, let's see. What is one thing you wish you could tell your Uber driver, but like didn't have the guts to tell him during the ride? One time, the, I'm not kidding, the car reeked of a locker room, like a gym locker room. <laughs> it was so smelly. I was like riding with my friend. I think we were going to like a dinner or something or a movie and yeah. I had to roll the windows down and it was freezing outside. Like I would have rather have taken the cold and the smell. Yikes. I didn't have the heart to say it. So say it to him now. Please keep your car like smelling nice. Shower guys, shower, <laughs> deodorant, okay? <laughs> Just kidding. It's probably uh, probably one of you guys out there is, needs to hear that. <laughs> Sometimes I need to shower more. All right. A little off topic. Guys, check out this view. It is a beautiful day Look out. Look at this today. beautiful it's so day out. It's not bad, right? It's sunny. Um, all right. Another fun fact about yourself. Another fun While fact I pull about up the myself, next question. Um, I'm kind of ambidextrous, so I can use my left hand and my right hand. Wait, really? Like I write with my right hand, but I can like, um, like cut a steak or something. Like use the knife with my left. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Thank you. How did you learn how to do that, Liz? Um, my mom's naturally <laughs> left-handed, so growing up I saw her use like the oh, left hand some of the time. Oh, so you're like so. experimenting out? Yeah, I was a little guinea pig. <laughs> wow. Hey guys, let us know in the comment section below. Are you ambidextrous? Do you want to be? Contact Liz for more information. I'll help you out. Don't contact her. <laughs> um, okay, do you like Uber Pool? Or do you ever take Uber Pool? I do take Uber Pool. Um, usually if I'm taking Uber Pool, it'll be like on the way back from like the grocery store, like Trader Joe's to my house, yeah. because I have a couple of groceries and it's pretty nice. But mm -hmm. if I'm going a far distance, probably not, but a short distance, yeah. Yeah. Um, have you ever like made a connection in an Uber pool or like met somebody like another passenger? Honestly, no. I feel or do like you ever talk people, to them or you just like, eh. I feel like a lot of people have like their earphones in yeah. or like don't want to talk. So I haven't really made a connection sadly. So sad. Looking for a connection. <laughs> <laughs> Misconnection out there. Um, that's, you can go on Craigslist, right? Yeah, I probably wouldn't meet someone on <laughs> Craigslist. That's a little too terrifying. Um, yeah, probably not. Oh yeah, where do you usually, where do you usually take Ubers? Like, where do you usually go? Um, top three spots definitely would be grocery store, like if I have to go to like a job, and yeah. then um, coming back from like bars, dinner, whatever. Okay. The main ones. Nice. Pretty casual. <laughs> Keep Uber casual. Okay, any, any bad experiences? Personally, with an Uber, um, aside from the one smelly issue, no. Like, have you ever had to be like, all right, dude, pull over. You're driving too crazy. Gotta no, get out. No, I'm not, actually. Thankfully, okay. I'm not. All right. Oh, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> all right, let me switch hands. Guys, it's hard being a YouTuber. <laughs> I gotta hold up a camera. That's some serious uh, workout right there. All you guys gotta do is just sit there on your butt and watch this video. You guys got it easy. <laughs> um... Am I too mean to you guys? I'm oh, keeping it real. Keeping it real. Alrighty. Any creepy drivers? No, no but I had a funny, funny creepy kind of one. Um, me and my friends were headed out. This was when I was a senior in high school, just like to a friend's house. Yeah. And um, the Uber driver requested us to do karaoke in the car. Uh huh. And he picked the song, and he's like, "Sing, sing, sing!" So 
It was were random, guys... but it was fun. Like I, I enjoyed every minute of it. Oh, so you were hole. down? Oh yeah, no, I was down saying. Okay. I don't know if my friends were, but uh, I think he regretted it once he heard my voice. <laughs> but you know, still fun. Can we get a little taste? No, no, <laughs> not on camera. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Um, what was the song? You know. You don't remember. I can't remember. It's too long ago. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, what are some reasons you don't, oh wait, do you prefer Uber or Lyft? I'd use Uber more. Um, I tried using Lyft when it like, like a couple years ago, like three or four years ago when it kind of started getting big, but yeah. I just felt like at the time, Lyft would do like all these great promotional deals, like $50 off on a ride and what $50 I- $50 off. Or it was something where it was like a big deal and I realized it was like small increments, like, oh, you only get Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I kind of didn't, I felt like it was like false advertising. It so was, I was like, yeah. Eh, not a fan, so I just kind of stuck with Uber. But recently, using Lyft a little more because the prices have been cheaper than Uber, so. Yeah. Depends, but mostly. For me recently, Uber's been doing this like 50% off thing. Yeah, I saw that. Or like Is that 30%. the Uber Rewards, or I'm kind of confused what that's for? I have no clue. But sometimes I'll go somewhere and it's like 50% off. It's like two bucks. <laughs> Might as well, honestly. Yeah. Save you time. Um, and then what are some reasons like you don't take Uber? Like if you're, do you ever take like the bus or? Um. And then like where's the line like to choose Uber rather than the bus or like walking? So with bus, sometimes all friends end up like a campus bus pass, which is like free riding around the area. And so if it's like a destination that's on the line, we'll take the bus and use our bus pass. Yeah. But if not, mostly Uber. That would be the only time I really wouldn't use a car share app. Car share? I mean car riding, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, I don't know. So like you share the car with the- Yeah, yeah, you get to share the car. It's actually a new um, Uber trick that's coming out. Uber trick? Uber trick. Okay, guys. I'll ask you too. What do you guys think of my new idea? It's door, it's DoorDash, but door class. So they take the food to your classroom. That would be great, <laughs> but I feel like it'd be so hard for them to find your actual like lecture hall or whatever. And then yeah. some guy's just coming in with like a bag from Taco Bell. <laughs> Me and my friend were thinking like it'd be the funniest thing. Like it would never work, but like just imagine you're sitting in a lecture hall with like 200 people. And some guy's like, Enrique, I have your Taco Bell. <laughs> And other guys like Alessandra, I have your venti latte. That would just be like that would be great, especially when the lecture's <laughs> boring. But I just don't see it actually happening. But if you create it, like my hat's off to you. Yeah, I'm gonna create it and I'll be the one driver just <laughs> doing it just to see how funny it is. Um, let's see. Would you ever take a ride in a driverless car? Okay, so um, back in my hometown, they've actually really exp um, experimented with that, and a woman oh, really? actually got killed. Yeah. So, oh wait. Yeah. Was this the? Yeah, on the bike, or no? Um, she was she was riding a bike, or no? Is this? From what I heard, it was like an older woman, like around 60s crosswalk, and I guess the car didn't see her and just like hit her, or something weird happened where the driver didn't like stop automatically. Yeah. Yeah, so that kind of freaks me out a little. I mean, it's cool to see with their little like drone on top, you know, checking the area out, but yeah. I think I'm a little too nervous to get in a driverless car. I don't Fair know, because accidents happen. Like, what if someone yeah. who's driving with a driver in the car hits the car that doesn't have a driver? You know, what do you, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, there's a lot of like ethical Definitely. scenarios as well. And like, insurance questions too, but who knows? Yeah. I mean, like, imagine you're driving, <laughs> like the driverless car is driving, and like it needs to avoid somebody like running out in the middle of the road that's what i'm saying like will it avoid the person to hit another car or like who... I'm, I'm too suspicious still yeah okay sorry my mom's texting me <laughs> hold on guys brief intermission here you always got to answer text from mom do, i can't do, leave her hanging do, 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 do. <laughs> uh okay this is interesting as well do you prefer the ride an uber and lyft to be silent or do you like to talk to your driver Honestly, it depends on the driver, like as yeah. weird as that may say, like sometimes it's nice to do like, I always are like, hi, how are you? Like, how yeah. long have you been riding? Just to get small conversations started, but yeah. I don't know. I also think it depends on the mood, like if yeah. the driver isn't in a good mood, maybe don't like try to talk to them, but who knows? I think yeah. a little talk is nice at least. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. <laughs>
Great questions. Great answers, by the way, Liz. Thank you. Killing it. Thanks for having me on. Solid five out of ten on the on the answer. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half stars. Oh, damn. Room for room for improvement. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, do you want to tell everyone how we met? Yeah. So you put out a Facebook a Facebook ad, kind of ad post. No, 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 no. We were in an Uber. Oh, yes, Uber yes, pool. yes, we were in an Uber pool, um, <laughs> driving to campus, actually, and he's like, hey. No, 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 tell them the real story. They want the details. <sighs> Keep switching it up. Um, yeah, so asked if anyone would be on the channel to talk about, like, being a writer in Uber or Lyft, and I responded, and here I am. Here we are. Met via Facebook. Yeah, and you're definitely not being paid for this at all. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, have you ever felt... Dan like in danger during a ride. Like, no, I've never? never felt in danger. Thank I God. always feel like my driver's like breaking the law. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you mean like danger, like speeding danger? Or like, like, have you ever been like, have, sure. oh, okay. I didn't think about the kidnapped one, but have no you ever? No kidnap vibes, thankfully. Okay, no kidnap vibes? No. Um, All right. Danger, I mean. Because I've, I've been in like multiple rides where like the driver's just like not safe at all. Well, I've had some where they're like speeding a little, which I don't mind, obviously, because yeah. it's like nice to get to your place, you know, efficiently. But one time I had a rider go, driver go really, really slow, like grossly below the speed yeah. limit, and I was like, oh my god, please <laughs> speed up. <laughs> there was one time where it was like yellow light, and the guy had tons of time, and he just like stopped. St I'm like, bruh, what is one thing that you would like to tell all of the Uber and Lyft drivers out there? Um. I don't know, I think like I would tell them like a little kindness goes a long way. Like just always being courteous and aware of all drivers and especially like Yeah. Like different like you know, I think it's great how Uber like like has people that are like deaf drivers and whatnot and it like lets you know. Oh really? Like I actually really like how Uber's pretty inclusive in like riders and drivers that they take. Yeah. So I know it's not specific to the drivers, but I don't know, maybe just like being aware. Yeah. I like it. What is like one thing you could say to your driver to have an excellent give an excellent experience to you or like another passenger like what's one thing you'd say whether it's like being nice driving safely definitely both of those um i also think music. just keeping like a clean car is nice you know like it's always yeah. awkward if like you have, you have like a bag or something you want to put it in the back seat and it's just all like cluttered you know <laughs> yeah fair enough because that's your workplace so keep it clean clean your car out yep and you'll be good to go. Definitely. Come to the top. Come to the top. Oh. Someone like wants to come to the top. To the top. Oh, to the top. <laughs> I totally misheard that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, not the talk. Not Maybe. The top. Okay. <laughs> um. Cool. Well, I think that just about does it for our. There's a beeping thing. It's a pickup truck back there. Yeah, my arms are tired, guys. Got to end this a little short. Thanks for having me on. Bye, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Sorry, do people not do that? Bye. Okay, bye. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let us know in the comments section below. Um, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? How about the... Oh, uh, okay. How about this? So I just asked her what her favorite flavor of ice cream was. I'm going to bleep it out. If you guys can guess what her favorite flavor of ice cream is, you guys can get a free Rideshare Hub t-shirt. Ooh, that's a good prize. You guys like that one? I think it's gonna be tricky to figure out. <laughs> it's hard, it's not, uh, I, won't, I won't tell, I won't give any hints. It's not basic. But if you can guess it right, anyone who guesses it right, you get a free t-shirt. How about that? That sounds like fun. Yeah, and um, I'll give you a dollar too, on Venmo. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. This has been another episode of the Ride Chair Hub. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more juicy Uber and Lyft content on the daily. Um, any last words? No, thanks for having me. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks so much for coming on, Liz. All right, guys, talk to you all soon. Bye.